Welcome to our definitive guide on notebook and journal printing at XYZ. Everyone loves a notebook. You do, don't you? Come on, admit it. How many times have you been out for the day and you get to the gift shop at the end and you look down and you're like, oh my gosh, I love the cover. Or, oh, this is hardback. That feels so good. Next thing, you're in the car on the way home and you've bought a copy. Well, that could have been your product that somebody's taking home with them and will become part of their daily routine as they record their sketches, their to-do lists and their life goals. In this guide, we're going to take you through the entire decision-making process from the initial idea to a printed notebook or journal. At XYZ, we are creative printers and every single day we help complete novices and rockstar designers transform their ideas into print. So let's get started by taking a deep dive into the sizes, binding choices and papers available as we combine them all together to print you a perfect notebook and journal for your brand, for your online store or even just to give friends and family as a present. Let's start our guide with some inspiration on how a notebook could be a great idea for you or your business. If you run a website with an online store, or maybe you have an Etsy or a Not on the High Street shop which sells art prints, stationery, illustrations or lifestyle products, then why not use your existing work as the front cover for a range of notebooks? You've done the hard work and come up with a winning set of designs, you know the ones that are popular, it will take you five minutes to rework them and boom! you have an additional product range. Or how about designing a really unique, personalised and potentially much loved notebook with a set of photos in that are special to your family or friendship group. You could print off a handful of copies and send them out as presents for birthdays or Christmas. We have no minimum quantity so you can print one copy or more. A notebook is a great way to promote your existing business. Maybe you're an interior designer with a blossoming range of products or an internationally renowned blue chip company. You could use the product designs you already have as covers and sell them in your store. Or maybe, if you're feeling super generous, give one away free with each purchase. Who isn't going to love a free notebook? You could then run a competition on your social media and invite people to send in photos of the most exotic place they've used your notebooks with a prize for the best one. It might even get your brand to go viral. No, that's our pleasure. Thank us later. Some of our clients have produced a set which they have circulated in-house, so each member of the team has a notebook to write down their daily tasks. Each page could have an in-joke or an on-brand message to give them an extra bounce in their step when they flick through the pages. Journals, diaries and planners are becoming a big boom market which taps into the self-help a mental wellness niche that is a growing part of society right now. They form a crucial part of people's daily routines and provide a vehicle for downloading thoughts at the start and end of every day. Positivity planners, mindfulness journals and even recipe books are a good product to launch with the aim of giving recipients mental respite from everyday life. You can carefully tailor the content on the inside pages and pack them with inspirational quotes, areas to write lists and prompts for a regular diary catch-up. Shifting the bar slightly again, colouring books are also a winning solution for repurposing existing illustrations or children's book artwork. Drop them into Illustrator, convert them to line drawings and they become another simple to produce extra product line for very little extra work. Continuing our guide, we take a look at the four binding options you can choose. From the left here, we have wire stitching or stapled, softback perfect bound, hardback case bound, and finally, wire row bound. Each have their own set of idiosyncrasies, pros and cons. Let's take a closer look. So first up, wire stitching is the process of binding it together with two staples on the spine. The sheets are printed at twice the width of the finished piece, folded in half and stapled twice. The minimum height is 148 millimeters to give us enough room to get two staples in. The staples can hold a maximum of 72 pages, which is 18 folded sheets. But we tend to say 40 pages is the maximum recommended. 
you can see here that when the notebook is opened, it's not keen to go flat again. And the more pages you have, the more apparent this is. However, you could go for a self-cover solution where all the pages are printed onto a thinner paper, say 100 GSM or 115 GSM, so no thicker cover. That allow the pages to be pressed much more flat and neater. Here is another example with the card cover. You'll always notice a slight curve in the spine area because of the fold in the sheets. Notebooks are meant to be used regularly, so in all honesty, they're not going to be pristine after a few uses anyway. The impact of the card cover can clearly be seen here when we look at the A6 versus a much larger publication. The cover and pages on the A6 are more pronounced and rigid because there's less surface area for them to flop back down. An issue which is much less apparent on the wider colouring book here. So on stapled notebooks, do expect some bounce, but that just gives them extra charm. Next up, perfect binding. The inside pages are trimmed to a neat text block and the cover glued on with a 7mm hinge which attaches to the first and last inside page. Keep any important content out of those areas to avoid it being hidden. Perfect Binding is a professional looking solution which gives the notebooks or journals a book like appearance. You can see here that you have to press the pages down quite hard to get them to sit flat. This process works for 32 pages or more. The chunkier you make them, the more content people can add and the higher price point you can sell them for. A smaller size notebook will again accentuate the impact of the pages not sitting flat so do really consider how the notebooks will be used and choose the best binding method accordingly. Hardback journals and notebooks create a wow factor and provide a hard wearing prestigious product range. This example has a printed cover with a cool wraparound image that spans from the front cover round the spine to the back cover. The inside pages are glue and end papers added. End papers form the first three sides of content at the start and the end of a hardback book. You can see here the hinge with which they bind to the cover and the text block. An alternate for a hardback book is to use a material cover. We'll discuss that in further detail later. And here we also have coloured colour plan end papers. There are 52 colour choices in the colour plan range from GF Smith and they're a dynamic way to add a colourful impact when the reader opens the cover. Returning to the printed cover option we see that sections of the hardback cover are not completely flat and are slightly indented. This is something to bear in mind on your designs. We do have large front and back cover panels though, and the spine where you can add content. Material covers with foiling on the front are a very premium choice. Cover cloths and linen are from Winter and Company. There is an extensive range of textures and colors we're not able to print onto them, but you can add a logo, some text, or a simple graphic using foiling. This particular one for Better Day Studio is also section sewn for more robustness. In comparison, the printed journal we have here has the inside pages glued, so they tend to bounce shut more easily. You can see here the pages really struggle to lie flat.
on the section sewn version however finding the right point in a section when you open them up means they are more inclined to stay open this process is a premium add-on and works best when you are printing 500 copies or more so if you're on any kind of budget we would recommend that you choose a standard glued hardback book. Adding a ribbon marker is a great finishing touch, but again, the setup costs on this process mean that it is best for print runs of 500 copies or more to ensure you can retail the notebooks for a sensible price. The ribbons come from a company called Ratchfords and are available in around 15 to 20 color options. A belly band is also a neat finishing touch to a hardback book, wrapping around the front and back cover, then tucking inside. Foiling on the cover material looks stunning and there is an extensive range of foiling colours you can choose from to tailor the content to the exact aesthetic you're looking for. Foilco is the place to request samples from and there really are hundreds of options in all manner of finishes. Combining exciting foil choices with eye-catching cover materials can make or break the project. So we've showcased unprinted end papers, colour plan end papers, and here are printed ones too. They create maximum impact when the cover is opened and enable you to utilise these three extra sides at the start and end of your book to add content, branding or a message to the reader. What you choose for the design for your cover is down to your own creativity, but similar effects can be achieved with a cheaper printed cover solution. One of our favourite combinations, though, is white foil on black wibbling, but do watch out for this marking over time. So if you're looking for the highest possible combination of finishes, then a hardback book with premium extras, a ribbon marker and section sewing is the winner. We can print these for a low unit price, but that will involve going for a longer print run of 500 copies or more. Exceeding a thousand copies would definitely help and mean you can sell them for a price which people would consider reasonable to pay in a shop or in your online store. The final binding method to touch on is Wiro binding. A front and back sheet onto a thicker card is added then these and the inside pages are punched down the left-hand side. A wiro is fed through and clamped shut to bind the pages together. Best to keep content a good 12 to 15 millimetres away from this side of the sheet to avoid anything being chopped into and lost during the whole punching process. Now a big advantage of wiro bound documents is that the pages can be flipped open to lay completely flat. This is ideal for writing or drawing on the pages with little or no hassle. On this example here, you'll notice that the text was too close to the spine side of the page and has been cut into. Again, because it's wire bound though, the pages do lie completely flat on the table. A final option is to make the front and back pages hardback. We print your artwork onto 170 GSM silk, matte laminate the outside, wrap it over a 2.5 millimeter board, hole punch it and bind in the other leaves. The setup costs on this are really prohibitive to make less than 500 copies cost effective. So do get in touch if you're considering printing a longer run and stay clear of this method if you are just going for a handful of copies. This particular one was also perforated, which means the leaves can be removed individually, passed to a colleague in the office, or stuck to a notice board. The wires are available in a big range of colors, but black or white are cheaper because they are far more readily available.
we have laid out a great array of notebooks and journals here for you to see the difference in sizing. So let's start at the top with an A6 notebook. The next one is 176 by 125. We do charge a little bit extra for bespoke notebooks, but that does depend on the quantity that you're going for. Next up, we've got A5, which you can see is twice the size of A6. We move on to the square options now. So this is 210 by 210, which is the short length of A4 and the long length of A5. So it's a neat square size, lends itself well to portrait and landscape illustrations and artwork. Opens up to a nice double page spread, which is 420 millimeters wide, the length of A3. We have a, another custom bespoke size one here, which is a coloring book at 240 by 240. So we have presses that go up to B1 size, so you can go quite large on the finished size. Again, another bespoke size, slightly less height than A4, but slightly wider. These were modeled on a quite famous range of notebooks from the States, and Skyscanner wanted to replicate those with their sizing and their overall production values. And finally, at the back here, we have A4, which is, of course, twice the size of A5 and four times the size of A6. So the maximum size in theory that we could do would be A3 portrait and A4 landscape, although they would be enormous notebooks quite unwieldy to carry around in your bag. So putting them all back together at the back, we've got A4, then we've got the custom sizes. We've got 240 by 240. The smaller square size, which is a really good cost-effective size to print, is 210 by 210. Then we have A5, 176 by 125, which is B6, and A6 at the front. Next up, let's take a look at the inside content you can have for your notebooks. So first up, we've got this neat little A6 perfect bound notebook, and it's got blank inside pages. So it leaves the content completely free for the writer to interpret in however way they want, sketches, doodles. Uh, we've got an A5 stapled one here as well. Content's also blank there. In the Happy Thoughts notebook, we've got lined paper. So we can send over a template for you to base your design on to make that nice and easy for you. You could also go for grid paper if you want to go for a mathematical tip or you could do some really cool chessboard patterns. Uh, so both of those are just going to be black ink used to print them. So that works out nice and cost effective because we're only printing in black. On this one, we've got grid paper on the left hand side and we've got lined paper on the right. So it mixes it up nicely. The large one here for Skyscanner has also got grid paper, but it's really, really faint in this one. It's actually just dots to make up the grid. Not quite as effective because they've also gone for a cream colored paper. So it does disappear a little bit into the background. The Castrad's branded notebooks here, got grid paper with a white bar across the top and the bottom to house their logo and their website. And then in the front, they've got a little bit of branding as well with the logo. They've got a calendar in there as well for people to fill in. It's quite a neat way to do it. Shan Zeng's notebooks here are predominantly blank pages throughout, but then interspersed with awesome illustrations of her wallpapers. So again, it just means that you can introduce some of your products within the notebook. It doesn't have to be over the top and on every single page, but it does mean that the reader, once in a while, is going to get to a page with one of your products on there, and it might encourage them to buy it or even jump on your website and tell a friend. A little story about the business in there at the start and then a logo on the inside back cover. A great way of getting your message out there and telling people all about your company. The content inside is going to be dependent on whether you're going for a notebook, a planner, a notepad, um, a sketchbook or a colouring book. Obviously, they have specific 
types of content that's going to work for each type of publication. Here we've got Emma Mumford's manifestation journals. And again, they have an about us section on the inside front cover, which is a great place to position it. And then they have the manifestation lists with different sections to fill in as you go through the journals. Moving on to the dream lists, you've got your date in the top right hand corner and plenty of line space to add content as you're going through and working through the journal. Again, just black ink printing gives you plenty of creative scope to do a really nice design, but it's also cost effective for us to print because we're only printing in black ink. Can obviously add full colour if you like. That does jump the price up. The Seize the Day journals are interspersed with highly motivational quotes from philosophers and prominent individuals. And then the pages are predominantly the same design. Again, Emma Mumford's positivity planner this time. Motivational statements at the front, an about us section, pages for your vision for this year and a letter from your future self. And then the bulk of the pages are all common throughout. This is a cheaper way to print the inside pages if you're going for a longer print run. If you're litho printing it, then it means we only need to make one plate and print that, say, a thousand times. Um, digitally printing on smaller print runs of say 500 copies or under you can go for different designs on every page for no extra cost so litho printing a journal or a notebook with 700 copies or more um, it is going to work out more cost effective to have the same design on every page The brilliant procrastination paper Bumper Annual has awesome printed end papers and then each page on the inside of that is in full colour, full colour content all the way through. There are little sections to fill in and there's loads and loads of worksheets and, and exercises to complete as you go through. So this is more of a kind of high content publication. There are less pages to actually fill in by pen but there are certainly things that you can read and worksheets that you can digest a great high impact journal and an awesome thing to carry around with you and really kind of get you through the days a more bespoke notebook here is from the intrepid camera company they have sections to fill in here for photographers who are going out on shoots they can make notes on the ISO speed and various equipment they used on the shoot to refer back to later on. <coughs> Colouring books are obviously going to have content specifically for that niche. So these ones here are architectural drawings, which the user can brilliantly colour in in crayons, pens, or just shade them in pencil. Really successful colouring books for people will always need plates. And here's another one from the awesome Rodney Matthews studio. And here they've repurposed the artwork from their actual children's book, made it into line drawings, and then it forms the perfect basis for a colouring book for the reader to fill in and enjoy colouring in. Moving on to what paper choices are available for the cover and the inside pages of your notebooks and journals. So here is our A5 paper sample pack, which you can request in numerous places on our website or just ping us an email on hello at xyz.co.uk and we'll get one in the post normally on the same day. Each different sheet is printed with a photographic image on one side and the alphabet on the back. And there's a key card that comes with it so you can see what colours each of the letters in the alphabet are. There's a helpful info sheet as well to show you your print journey. So we've included a lot of the weights available in uncoated gloss and silk so you can get a really good feel for the difference 
in 115 gram versus 300 gram. So request that on our website or send us an email direct. So if you're gonna go for a wire stitched or a perfect bound notebook, we're gonna recommend 300 gram for the front cover, nice and chunky and durable. The inside pages would be on 115 gram uncoated. Uncoated is definitely the best choice for the inside pages of a notebook because it can be written on. Here we've got a more flexible, more malleable self cover option where the inside pages and the front cover are all printed onto the same stock. Again, here Shan Zeng's notebooks are 115 gram uncoated for the inside and 300 gram for the cover. If you're printing full color ink on the front cover, we always recommend lamination as well, which is available in matte or gloss. So the uncoated range comes in 115, 170 or 130. There are some other weights in between those as well, which are all detailed on the paper swatches. You can see it's a nice bright white finish. So the 115 for the inside pages, 170 if you want slightly more premium or you want to go for a self cover and then 300 gram for the cover. Gloss would be a good choice for the front cover of a shiny notebook or silk for a slight sheen. And you can see here on the images that gloss has got a real glare, whereas silk's slightly more muted. So these are both good options for the front cover to just add a different aesthetic. If sustainability and environmental considerations are paramount, then all of our papers are at least FSC certified and sustainable. We also have some recycled papers too, the FSC papers are arguably more eco-friendly than the recycled options because less chemicals are involved in producing them and a new tree is planted for every one that's failed to make the paper. For the larger budgets, we could go for an off-white or cream paper for the inside pages. You can see here when we compare a cream paper against our house uncoated, there's a noticeable difference. Our house uncoated is a lot more of a brighter white, which means that your ink or your drawings are going to be more prominent on them. There are a number of paper mills that offer some really, really cool looking, different feeling papers as well that you could go for for the front cover. So we've got a silver paper here, which might be ideal for the cover. And then the paper mill GF Smith offers this huge brick swatch book. You can get in contact with them direct on samples at gfsmith.com. So there's 250 to 300 different options. The color plan range, which would be great for the front cover. It comes in 52 different colorways right across the color gamut. Including five or six different shades of white at the front of the brick here. So we've got vellum, we've got natural, we've got ice white, and we've got white frost and all of them are ever, single, ever so slightly different shades. Subtle differences between all four, subtle difference between all of them. So here we've got again a comparison between natural and our house uncoated. Um, and our house uncoated tends to be closest to white frost. Comparing it here against pristine white and against bright white, you can see that they're slightly warmer shades. and vellum is almost towards yellow or orange. Flicking through the brick, uh, we've got loads and loads of different options for various textures, finishes, shades, and feels as you go through the GF Smith brick. They are premium paper, so they do cost a little bit more, but there are some like Zen White and some a Mohawk Everyday, which don't test the budget too much but our house papers are a good option if you are looking to save money. GF Smith papers are gonna be for people with slightly larger budgets, maybe on longer print runs as well, where the cost of the paper doesn't have so much impact on the overall price. There are some great options for kind of browns and craft papers, greens and blacks here as well in the book. All of these could be printed with white ink on our digital press or you could foil or emboss them if you wanted a classier, more premium front cover.
Here we've got black plaque used for the Skyscanner notebooks, and that has gloss spot UV varnish, which really brings out their logo. The Nomad Buff range is a good choice for a craft style notebook. And here we can see the camera forward has Kendall Manila used as the front cover, which is a much more cost effective option. And the black print over the Kendall Manila works really well. So do get in contact with GF Smith Direct if you'd like to see their paper samples. There are obviously too many for us to keep on the shelf, but they tend to send them out really quickly within a day or two. Couple more notebooks here, which have GF Smith papers for the front cover. The purple one is Color Plan Lavender, and the more subtle shade is Color Plan Natural. So, hardback notebooks give you a completely different range of options for the front cover. So, we go to Winter and Company and buy all of our materials for linen notebook covers. You can check out their website. For printed notebooks and journals, so the printing goes onto 170 silk, which is then wrapped around the hardback cover case, glued on, and then they get laminated with either matte or gloss, depending on how shiny you'd like the finish to be. A few more options. So here we've got an A4 notebook with uh, 300 GSM silk. And what they've done is they've created their own texture. So this is a cheaper way than buying in specialist papers. So you can drop some artwork in on the background of your design to mock up a texture or a specific style that you're going for. So this obviously looks like an envelope. This option here is mocking up the like a teal colored fabric cover without again the expense of going for the actual fabric. And this awesome one, they've created an amazing gold speckle design, which again is just printed in CMYK rather than going for the expense of a gold metallic paper. Here we have the nature of Gothic which has a really, really striking red cover. And again, we see the benefit of printing black ink onto a colored background for a really dynamic aesthetic. So just running through the options again here, 300 gram card cover, 115 GSM uncoated inside pages. 300 gram cover is going to be nice and rigid, it's going to have longevity. You could drop to 250 gram to make it slightly flimsier and easier for the writer to open, or you can increase to 350 gram for a super rigid cover. Falling into the repertoire of any good designer should be this awesome 130 card deck from swatchos.com. So you can flick through and then you can pull out the ones that you like and make your own color schemes. Each one has its own CMYK settings on the card, so you can easily drop that into your artwork on InDesign. Pair them up or put three or four together and create really, really cool color schemes. And the advantage of the deck is you can see exactly how they'll print before you go ahead. So jump on swatchos.com to grab yourself a pack. For a super dynamic finish on your notebook or journal, why not add a premium extra to the front cover? I will start by saying that these processes probably are best for those customers with a bigger budget or on a longer print run where the impact of the setup costs is less apparent. Okay, so let's start off with multiple cover designs. If you've got a range of artwork or a range of illustrations, you can't decide between them, then we can print multiple cover designs. You can split between two, three, four, or eight different options. Here we can see that on the hardback notebooks on the Better Day Studio, they've gone for four different Winter and Company colours to form a really great set of four matching notebooks. Uh, we could shrink wrap the finished publication, it costs about 25 to 30p per notebook. It means it's going to turn up in pristine condition and we can add a sticker as well so you can send it straight to retailers for them to sell. Moving on to the premium extras, we've got gold foiling here on Rebel Rebel. So that works really well 
on perfect softback perfect bound notebooks but also here on the better day studio it works on materials as well it comes in a huge range of foiling choices which we'll talk about shortly here on the Chelsea 10 notebook, we've got embossing. So embossing is the process of picking out some text, a vector or a logo and bringing it towards the reader. Conversely, you could deboss some content and then that goes into the page like we have here on Add to Basket. So you run your finger over it and you don't see it at first. It's quite subtle, but it actually pushes into the front cover. So it debosses on the front cover and on the inside cover here, it's actually embossed towards the reader. Gloss Spot UV Varnishing, again works in a similar way to foiling, where part of the content is picked out and it becomes shiny against a matte background. So you, went, you could go for a matte lamination on the background and have Gloss Spot UV Varnish, or the Skyscanner notebooks here use GF Smith Plyke, which is a matte finish, a velvety finish, and the gloss really jumps off against that in comparison. To finish the notebook, how about going for a belly band, which is another great vehicle for adding some branding on there or some notes about the content inside. We tend to print that onto something like 170 uncoated and then it wraps around the front cover, tucks inside and inside the back cover as well. Check out our sticker page for all the different pre-cut sticker sheets. So you get an A4 sheet with loads and loads of stickers. They come in square, rectangular or circle and form a really nice finishing touch on your notebook. These would be great for sealing a belly band together at the back or as we can see here, over the top of an acetate sheet. On hardback notebooks, if the budget allows, then how about going for a ribbon marker, which is glue bound in and then you can tag the specific page that you're working on to make it easy to get back to in future. We've spoken about this before, but you can go for either glue bound inside pages or section sewn, section sewn being slightly more resilient and a note back and allow you to have a notebook with lay flat pages. Far more cost effective on longer print runs of 500 copies or more though. Here we can see all of the foiling choices from our foil supplier, Foil Co. Jump on their website and you can request one of these swatch books as well. It gives you a really good breakdown on the different uses for foil. And as we flick through, you can see just how many different options there are. It's really, really not limited to just gold or silver. All manner of colour options in gloss and matte, as well as some shiny ones to really make your content dynamic and jump off the front cover of your publication. So that's Foil Co. We've touched on this before, but we can perforate the inside pages of your book too. So sheets can be ripped out and given out to friends or to family or to office colleagues. We tend to perforate 12 to 15 millimeters from the spine. So just be aware to keep content away from that area if you don't want it to be either lost or left in after the perforation. Well done again for taking the first step to get your work into print. We'll guide you through the journey offering extensive help at every stage until that magical moment when you experience the excitement of opening the boxes and there it is, your notebook with your artwork on the front cover in print. You did it. Let's wrap up now and show you again what the choices are for notebooks or journals. So here we've got stapled wire stitched notebooks where the pages are folded in half and stapled with two staples down the spine. Here we've got softback perfect bound notebooks with a square glued spine, A6 or A5 here, both neatly fit in the pocket. More premium options are the hardback wiro bound notebook for larger budgets with a hardback front and back cover, inside pages onto 115 uncoated or 170 for a step up and the hardback all singing, all dancing journal with the inside pages printed. We've got foiling on the front cover over a winter and company material. And on this particular one, we've got section sewing and we've got the river marker included. So save the hardback wiro bound and the hardback notebook for bigger budgets and longer print runs. And 
if you print a few thousand copies, we can get the unit price down to a really good marker. So we've got wire stitched stapled notebooks here. We've got perfect bound on the right hand side. You can choose multiple designs for the covers and best to stick to two, four or eight different versions. And that works really well with the number of copies that we can print on a sheet. If you need any help or advice setting up your artwork, do get in touch. We are always more than happy to talk through either on the phone, by email or on our live chat. If you'd like a quote, our innovative quote form will guide you through the options with intuitive help and advice. Make your choices, click the send button and we'll be back with a quote ASAP. If you'd prefer to discuss the project before getting a quote, then do ping us an email on hello at xyz.co.uk or give us a call during office hours on 01206. 76647. So hopefully that is everything you need to move your project forward. How cool would it be if your notebook or journal became a cherished and an integral part of someone's life and daily routine? Yes, we can all take a note on our phone or on our computer, but it's so much more fun actually writing it down. We're super excited to hear from you, so do get in touch about your project on 01206 76647 on hello at xyz.co.uk or even on the live chat box on our website. Thank you very much for watching this guide and we look forward to helping you transform your ideas into print.